Hey everyone, welcome back to JLEG 3D. So this is going to be another late night and overdue video. But uh, I had a request before how to make a um, phone cases. So I uh, basically drew this up in CAD. So I do have the CAD file, as you can see. And uh, so I made this standard looking phone, which is like a mix of an Android and iPhone mixed with a Kermit cam. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with making a simple bumper case using the sweep method. And uh, as you can see, I lined up my phone in the center and I wanna press either the front or the back plane on the top right there. And I wanna do section view. So we're gonna go here on the side and then just make a sketch just to start seeing those points there. As you can see right here, those purple points, they help us identify what we're working on. So uh, let's go ahead and use those points by drawing a line up then extending it further then taking it from here and extending it further here so we have that all right and then you have to decide how thick you want your case to be so let's say for example we go offset make sure it's on single offset this by let's do one millimeter right and then you obviously want also tools project you have to select these ones make sure they're highlighted in blue not purple because blue is what you want to use and purple is where it's going so we want to go back to the front plane click anywhere on the front plane and then as you can see that border came up there we click technically we click done okay although i'm not seeing for some reason it come up so the problem is we have to actually have a closed sketch or platform to use that on so let's go ahead and tools project one more time make sure they're highlighted in blue because sometimes it it usually actually worked when you pressed on the plane but i guess they keep updating stuff so here we press it there you can see that line pop up okay now we click done we can delete that and this line we go back to the front plane and we want to let's say extend this line if, if it comes into an arc, just shake it and it turns straight. But extend it to about right there. So we have this piece, so to speak. And then since we wanted one millimeter, let's just go ahead and extend it on all sides. And then push it through to that point. All right, let's go ahead and trim some of these edges if we want to be perfectionist. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we have this. Now we can offset this by one millimeter. And the same thing on this side. Well, we have to select all of these since they are different. And it's kind of hard, as you can see. Mm. All right, how about we do it this way? Tools, offset. This way, it's going to be a little bit easier to see the things it highlights. Although, it does sometimes make it difficult depending on the lighting that you have. Because I have it pretty dark right now because I'm working out here. Uh, but anyways, let's do one millimeter there as well. And then we want to trim those edges as well. All right, now we have this simple thing there. And uh, turn off section view. And then we go ahead and select the tools and sweep. We select that sketch that we made. Click next. And then we can use the contours. And it's a bit glitchy for me today. But we can use the contours of the actual model, this line in particular, to go around and to create our bumper case all right so just go ahead and make it all the way around and if you have a an stl file this is obviously much more difficult uh and i'll probably make a separate video for that but for now we'll focus on the cat file so we'll click done let's go ahead and just to make it more fun we're going to change the color to our kermit color and uh, as you can see we have our bumper case but we need to edit it to make sure we have the holes for the buttons and that everything lines up. So as you can see, we have this case here. We need to, first of all, fill it this probably by, we can do one. Or if you want to edit it later, I suggest doing, for example, like 0.9, and then you will have an edge there that you can always delete these later. So that makes it easier to edit. Obviously it's not gonna be a problem with uh, parametric but plan ahead guys so just fyi anyways uh while we're having this 
let's go ahead and hide it because we have to actually make holes for our buttons. So again, since we have a CAD file, this makes it much simpler. Let's go ahead and select that edge, offset, make sure it's on loop this time. And we try to match those edges there. And in this case, we have two buttons. So we want to finish that off as one button. And then we want to trim these little edges here because we want that as one extrusion. And then don't forget tolerances, guys. So we need to make sure we have room for tolerances. So select loop again and offset, let's say, by 0.5 millimeters. And there we go. We have one complete. And then we go here on this side. One more button. So offset. 0.5 and then for the tolerance we had 0.5 as well so these two were really easy however when you get to the charger here you can see there's these contours that makes it more difficult to know exactly where it is right so one way to do it is that we can sketch just like we did before or you can extrude let's say we select that inside part and go out here let's say new body click done and then we want to delete these inside edges because this is going to be filled since we're going to be subtracting it from the body anyways. Click delete. And then we can go in and uh, select the outer edges and try to match the hole that we have here. So this is pretty good, but not perfect. So we can go ahead and adjust specific edges as necessary. So they all adjust it automatically since it's connected. But then we also want that tolerance, right? So we can go, now go and offset from this body so by 0.5, if that's going to be enough. And then we can go ahead and delete that one. And now we have that, right? So now we hide the phone and we extrude this in such pieces because we're going to use these as forms to subtract from our case. And that's with the tolerance included. So um, let's see. We go to, and to make it easier for yourself, by the way, you can go ahead and select these three and put them in the folder, right? That makes it easier. Uh, let's go ahead and unhide that body. And then tools subtract from this body, this entire folder. So that's some something you could do. Then you hide that folder. And you have now, or at least should have had, if I extended it correctly. Let's actually undo. And I made these too small. Let's hide the sketches. So sometimes I rush ahead and forget that I have unfinished business, right? Like <laughs> like Casper. Um, let's go ahead and extend these and make these bigger so that we don't run into those problems later. So they are already grouped. We unhide our case, tools subtract from the phone case, this entire folder, click done and then hide the folder. And now we have holes for our buttons. Let's unhide the phone. And as you can see, we have these tolerances there, but let's finish up our model. So this is the final stage where you usually add in details such as contour. So let's do, let's do 0.9 like I said earlier about the editing so 0.9 and then go ahead and add a fillet here if it would let you let's go ahead and select more edges so it it's easier for it to think let's do 0.5 here so that the buttons are easier to access right so we did the 0.9 chamfer and then 0.5 for the fillet Okay, and then the final one here is, let's see if it lets us do the chamfer without issues. And as you can see, we kind of run into some issues where it doesn't want to listen to everything we say. So we have to kind of work with it. And if you still want to do 0.9, there is a method uh, which you can use. For example, if you go into here and uh, you make that chamfer actually on this object and go ahead and turn it around and subtract it from there that'll make that exact chamfer just like you want it but in this case let's just go with the flow and kind of do the one because this is a charger anyways right so negative one for the chamfer 
and then let's go ahead and see if it'll let us fill it in to give it a nice smooth edge and it's not liking what we're doing maybe we have to select more edges so let's try all of them and if it doesn't want to do it i'll show you a method to get around this oh there we go though it did so let's do 0.5 it did but uh just fyi if you ever come across this issue where it doesn't want to do what you want to do what you can do is if you go for example to a specific edge and you draw for example a circle or whatever shape you want and then just simply turn this by 90 degrees and then use the sweep function select this and use the sweep function on that line and go all the way around and then subtract as necessary uh, and that'll do that because that's an easier uh, thought process for the computer than it is to actually fill it in sometimes so just fyi but basically we have a complete bumper case as you can see all the way around and then the last thing to make sure is that your bottom right here is actually either level or higher than your camera so tools replace face let's see if it changes it and i believe they were already on the same level or it's actually going to make it lower so it made it slightly lower as you can see it blended that edge and uh, you technically don't need more because if the phone falls that way these two edges are lined up so the camera doesn't break right so that that did pretty good there it smoothed that edge we just need to go ahead and now make it smoother let's see what was it allowing us to do here let's do point two five and that's pretty good there that way we have a solid edge there and then for this one we already did that so the only problem you're left now is to either make this out of a rubbery material so you can just kind of put it on the phone without issues or now you need to do like a uh, body split so tools split body so that you can now go in and make either a slide or a clip function so you can put the case on in separate pieces so that's gonna be up to you uh, however you want to do that uh, but hope you guys learned something don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will show you guys more methods on phone cases if you want it uh, let me know in the comments below because there are multiple ways of doing this so uh, ask away and if if there is enough questions then i will make more new ones all right hope you guys learned something Bye bye here at jay lake 3d our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects please support our work so that we can keep doing it don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more.